what's going on guys Janus here and today let's talk about forest sphinx uh, she is a healer class servant and she seems to be good but anyways let's discuss about her but before starting anything uh, i would like to <laughs> recommend you guys to subscribe to my channel to keep on enjoying videos like this in your future okay so let's start with the skills guys uh, the first skill is known as the Atom Spear. It has a 70% chance to disrupt the enemy from healing HP. Okay. 70% chance to reduce speed of all enemies for 30 seconds. Okay. Pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, support as well as the uh, healer. And the next one is it heals HP of all allies by 70% of caster's max HP. Cliche. Akhenaten. It says. And uh, Fist of the Tail. Uh, grants shield based on hp to all allies for 30 seconds level one so it's pretty much like fire sphinx right and the next one is the passive skill it removes one debuff from all allies upon skill use so whenever she is gonna use her skills so she's gonna remove one debuff uh oh well in this game i would again again uh, like to tell it to you guys that in this game whenever you use a skill the whole skill set of any other every other servant in your team are gonna go in cooldown okay <laughs> so if you are using the skills of the healer or the support class you need to make sure that it really benefits your team or else it's really gonna be bad okay and in this case scenario you won't be able to it's not really a good idea actually eh, to uh, keep on smashing the skills of your healer over and over again okay you just wanna focus on the second skill which is gonna um, you know in, uh, heal the HP of all allies by 70% okay so that's kinda cool but this one so you know like it's, it, it kinda already uh, demotes her usability <laughs> viability that's what would I that what I would say anyways if an enemy Halel is present, the target speed reduces by 80%. So she is going to reduce the uh, speed of the Halel if the Halel is present as the enemy team. So she is pretty specific about this passive skill and it kind of, for me, honestly, it sucks, guys. It sucks. And the next one is team passive. Accuracy of all element allies increases by 52% at guild. Pretty bad. Anyways, uh, looking into all kind of stats right over here, she is a decent healer, but not really that extraordinary uh, servant, okay? There are way, 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 way better healer servants out there in the game, uh, which can really be, <laughs> which can really make a lot of difference during your gameplay. And she is not really that one, which can make you, you know, make you say, "Wow, this is the servant I have." Okay. Now, anyways, let's move on to the uh, to build. Okay, as a healer build, obviously it should be the eruption for the speed and the life. Okay for the extra tankiness okay that's that's how you should be building her up okay uh so starting with the weapon the shirt and the pants they are already uh flat uh stats on the primary stat so you really don't need to wor worry about the primary stat it will always be flat so you just need to worry about the substats secondary st uh, the substats okay or the additional stats in the additional stats, there are a total of four stats, right? And in the four stats, you really need to focus on the speed, defense percentage, the HP percentage, and the accuracy, okay? These are the four things that you really need to focus on, okay? Now, when it comes to the glove, you really need to focus on the speed, guys. The speed as the primary stat, okay? For this servant. And the next one is the helmet in the helmet you really need to go with the hp percentage or defense percentage whatever you like but i would really prefer the hp percentage on the helmet and on the shoes you really need to go with the accuracy percentage so in summary it's the speed hp percentage and accuracy percentage in the gloves helmet and shoes respectively so you really need to go with the eruption and the life gear guys eruption and the live gears okay so this is it for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and guys please let me know your views and opinions in the comment section below i would really love to communicate with you guys and respond to your comments and see you guys in the next video